Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy pushing out and rolling out our very first Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And they rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 9th of January, which obviously was the second Tuesday of the month, which means it's Patch Tuesday time. Now, the first update to roll out for Windows 10, the first cumulative update to roll out for Windows 10 this year, is KB5034122. And this update addresses security issues for your Windows OS, because obviously the Patch Tuesday updates are compulsory mandatory security updates. And just a quick overview as to what is rolled out for Windows 10 version 22H2. We have 34 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. Two are critical. And the two critical vulnerabilities, which by the way is your highest ranked vulnerability, so this is a very important security update. The two critical vulnerabilities that have been addressed are remote code execution, which is a common exploit. And then we've got Kerberos security feature bypass vulnerability. Now, just on a side note, if you want to know what that's all about, basically a Kerberos is a system um, or router that provides a gateway between you and the internet. And basically it helps prevent cyber attacks from entering a private network. So um, that's the vulnerability, Kerberos security feature bypass vulnerability. So two important critical issues there. And 34 vulnerabilities have been addressed in total with KB5034122. Now, even above that, um, Microsoft also says that the security update includes quality improvements that were part of this update, which rolled out um, around about the 12th, 13th of December last year, um, depending on your region, KB5033372, which was uh, the Patch Tuesday update that rolled out last year and was the last cumulative update that rolled out for Windows 10 because um, due to the holidays, there was no bug fix update. So this, uh, the um, quality improvements that were part of this update and new features and so on that rolled out will be now carried over into KB5034122. Now, if you would be interested as to what those new improvements were all about, because I posted a whole video on that update, 503372, and I'll leave that down below. But just to do a quick recap, um, it should start introducing Copilot in Windows 10, which brings centralized AI assistance to the Windows 10 desktop, which is still on a controlled rollout, and Microsoft seems to be pushing this out to Windows 10 very slowly, and I still have not received the uh, Windows Copilot for Windows 10 yet, but nonetheless, uh, you may have seen it you may have not, it is on a controlled rollout. And then if we head back to our Windows Update page, uh, if you didn't install that previous update, we'll also add get the latest updates as soon as they're available. So basically with this toggled on, you will be the first to get the latest non-secured updates, fixes and improvements, as many of you may know by now. Um, it also adds a new system components app page. So for this, if we head to our system page over on Windows 10 version 22H2. Microsoft now has given the system components their own page where previously these were in the um, the apps and features list and have now been moved to the system page, which I actually think is a good idea because it just differentiates system components to other apps uh, in Windows 10. And it also brings a new functionality that affects app defaults. Apparently, according to Microsoft, the news and interests uh, feed is now larger. I don't think it's larger, but I think it's more compact. And there's also Windows Update opt-in notifications. And another one, which you may have noticed, and I think a lot of users have seen this already, but um, the File Explorer address bar is now smaller. So you can see the address bar and the search is a lot smaller. And this is how it used to be back in the day. And for some reason, Microsoft now has reintroduced this smaller and thinner address bar where before this update, it was a lot thicker. So for some reason, Microsoft wants to go back um, to the previous address bar and search in the File Explorer. And over and above that, it also addressed bugs. So go check that video out for KB5033372 if you'd like to get a lot more info and play catch up. And then because we didn't have a bug fix update that rolled out near the end of last year due to the holidays, there are also three 
bug fixes that have rolled out with this update due to that. So just to mention these quickly, the update addresses an issue that affects the active X scroll bar. Apparently it does not work in Internet Explorer mode. It also addresses an issue that caused causes your device to shut down after 60 seconds. This occurs when you use a smart card to authenticate on a remote system. And then the third and final fix with this update is that it addresses an issue that affects the display of a smart card icon. Apparently the icon didn't appear when you signed in and this occurred when there were multiple certificates on the smart card. And uh, those are the three bug fixes that have actually rolled out with this latest update for Windows 10, which as mentioned for Patch Tuesday, is KB uh, 503412. Now, because um, the build has been upgraded, if we just head over to Win very quickly about Windows, just to see our latest OS build for Windows 10 version uh, 22H2, yeah, on about Windows, we can see version 22H2 OS build 19045.3930. So that's the latest build you need to be on to have the latest version and build for Windows 10. So that's more or less what's new. As mentioned, go check that other video out for the features. And this obviously includes some important security updates. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.